All right, hi boys and girls. Thought you were rid of me, I'm sure. But for math today, we have some gestures and I wanted to be the one to teach them to you um, to help Miss Maccabee out and so that we can get it all done. So today you are learning about adding and subtracting decimals. And this is just like if you were to take two amounts of money and add them together, but there's a specific way you have to do it. And of course, I'm Mrs. Copel, so there's some gestures to help you, okay? Watch very carefully. When you add or subtract decimals, you line them up. All right, ready? I'm gonna teach you the gestures. I need everyone standing up. Come on, stand up. Come on. Even you. Yeah, stand up, Alex. Come on. All right, first it goes, when you, repeat after me, add, you're making an addition sign, or subtract, you drop that arm to make a subtraction sign, and then you punch to say decimals. All right, all together. When you add or subtract decimals, what do you do? What did I say? What do you have to do? You line them up. All right, all together. When you add or subtract decimals, you line them up. What's getting lined up? The decimal point, of course. That's why you line them up. So decimal points should all be lined up one on top of the other when you are adding or subtracting decimals. 